I think you want inside, what do you think? Poor guy, he just loves being inside. Let's let him in. There you go. We're back in, it's been a whopping two minutes since he's been outside. And he acts like he's been out there for two days. Unbelievable. So spoiled. Hello, hello. In this video, we are gonna talk about what my tune-up race is for the LA Marathon. But first, let's head to this very slow, low heart rate running montage. See you in a bit. Definitely not easy to stay in my easy pace going up any hill. Okay, it is a nice, beautiful day on Sunday here, but it's too windy to record out there like I would have liked and karma would have liked, but because it would have sounded like this. It's like, it's like a windstorm out here, folks. Can you hear that wind? <laughs> Anyways, back inside. So today's video, we are gonna talk about what my qualifying, or not my qualifying, what my tune-up marathon is gonna be prior to the LA Marathon. And, uh, yeah, Coach David thinks it's, it's a good idea that I have a marathon beforehand to kind of boost my confidence and to have, give me an idea of where I'm at prior to uh, trying to qualify for Boston in 2023 at the LA Marathon. Yeah, but first let's get to the comment, the spotlighted comment of the video. Okay, today's spotlighted comment is from Next Aid Station. She says, it is so interesting to hear about your low heart rate training. I'm not doing any heart rate training plan, but I do pay attention to my heart rate as an older runner. I find that I can get into a rhythm running a slower pace with the heart rate staying around 135-ish. For most of my runs, I can also recover better if my heart rate doesn't get too high. And since I train for ultras, I can endure longer if my heart rate stays slower. It will be interesting to see how things go for you. I'm rooting for you to reach your goals. Yes. I agree. Very nice. I, you know, I 135 ish. Uh, I would love to be in that heart rate zone right now. <laughs> As you know, uh, you may have watched. I've been one, between 110 and 127, and it is. And as you saw from the running montage or that running montage, it was very, very slow. So 135 ish. Oh my gosh, I would love to be in that zone. See, and yeah, since you train for ultras, I imagine yeah, you have to be at a lower heart rate most of the time or at a comfortable pace. You can't go too fast since you're doing the long ones. You said in a later comment, it takes a few miles for you, or your heart rate to regulate, unless it is my watch that makes my heart look like it is spiking at the beginning of my runs. Uh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm the same way. I've, I've realized um, it takes about a mile or so for my heart rate to finally start getting under control. But the first mile, oh my gosh, it's just all over, sometimes half mile, it's all over the place. So I'm with you on that one. All right, thank you for the comment. So my tune-up marathon is going to be, drum roll please. It is gonna be the 2022 Long Beach Marathon here in Long Beach, California. Uh, it's about in the area, in the LA area, if you're not familiar with um, Southern California. But yeah, Long Beach Marathon has been around for a while. It has been around for 38 years. And according to the website, it is 
and experience your full race course that combines spectacular oceanfront views, charming seasides, communities, and the metropolitan feel at the start and finish line. There's a distance for everyone on race weekend and yours. Run it, bike it, own it. Hashtag run Long Beach. So yes, Long Beach Marathon is gonna be my my little tester to see how, I'm, how my body is uh, reacting to the training prior to the 2023 LA Marathon as I strive to get that coveted BQ status. And uh, according to Coach David, this is our plan. We come, come up with this together. He thinks uh, that I should be able to do the Long Beach Marathon at a sub four, sub four hour marathon at Long Beach Marathon. That'll take about 45 minutes off of my previous time, which was 4.45 at LA. That's a big, big, big gap there. But he's confident that I can do it. I think I could do it with the correct training that I'm on. And then I need to get sub 320 at the 2023 LA Marathon. So that's like 45 minutes off of this past marathon. And then I got to take off another 40 plus at the next one. Man, <laughs> that, that's big. That's a big, big plate there, but I'm going to go for it. If you know me, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know, I like big challenges and that's big. So. I'm super excited about it. And if I don't make it, that's okay. It's a learning process. Learn as I go. Even if I get better than last time, that's all that matters. But that's my goals. Sub 40 at Long Beach, 320 at 2023 LA Marathon. So that's that. A uh, little short video today, nothing too long, but just wanted to give a little update on that. Those of you watching, leave a comment below. I'd like to hear what you think about my, my little goal I have here with my, my Long Beach Marathon and my LA Marathon. Do you think that can happen? I'd like to hear your thoughts. I am Anthony reminding you to keep running for your best life.